money is required i don't say money is not required money is required to buy a house medical expenses your education you want to travel but how much you require that is left to you for someone one crore is too much for somebody 10 crore is much less for someone 100 crore is may not be sufficient for someone 1000 crore is probably it's too too small amount how much you require and how much you should own how much you should keep and what is excess is everybody's answer is different so i will never say money is not important your answer is important to you and that's the reason i tell everyone how much you want i am not sitting here and telling you 20000 is enough 2 lakhs is enough 20 crore is enough no i don't have any right you are the one which is enough which is more and which you do not want more than that you decide i always tell we produce engineers but quality is not good we have to improve our quality degree does not mean your quality is good okay in china their difficulties they do not have english which we have okay they don't have many middle level management which we have but they are much more hard working so you want to compete globally why china take globally today you want to compete globally then what you should have an excellent communication english excellent mother scolds you but still you have to talk to her because that is the only everything in this life is has a price anything including this bottle everything has a price except mother's love it is one thing which is priceless which is unconditional <laughs> which is unconditional she may get upset now after 5 minutes she will be all right We, uh, mothers don't get upset even though you you are upset don't show at that moment you cool down and accept it don't show you are very upset and you know crying beating don't do that first you listen if you are upset okay beta i'll talk to you after half an hour by half an hour you also cool down because it's very natural when you are young you get upset you know at my age i don't get upset because my age is also an advantage so please don't show you you are upset talk to them bring up this idea with your children's mind look my child you are ordinary just because your father has money or i have money you are not extraordinary money comes due to various reasons okay and money what you have has a cause that i made it to my children in a way you know such ideas you have to initiate to your children that is very important most of the time we don't do that because we think what others will think what is the status suppose my neighbor comes my cook is eating on the dining table what they think of us you know all those false values all those you know uh, tightened compartments we build around what people think let them think what they think you cannot live on people's opinion you have to live on your own opinion and that you should understand to tell your children children will be you know for many years children will carry your value at times i feel i lost a beautiful life why because i always believed in a middle class way of living common thing enjoying small things there are so many things where i would like to save and buy it give me enormous happiness you know i remember i saved 1700 rupees and bought pair of bangles to my daughter who was 2 years old it, and i used to look forward to that day okay i had to go and buy the bangles uh, so many things you do with money so many things you gain with money also for example the philanthropy the kind of philanthropy we do today is only because of money i would not have been able to do if i would have remained in the middle class 7000 rupees will i wear 7000 times no it's inversely proportional it is to the 1000 rupees saree this one i can wear at least 20 times or 30 times or 50 times lower the cost we use more that's the reality and is it not true just see and over a period of time that desire to own you know it's not there with me then i read it like why should i store all these sarees who will wear for what reason my daughter may not like my choice of color at all why buy and keep it for her so i went not analyzing we don't require that many sari we don't require that many materials to be happy addiction is bad it may be too much too much work too much movie too much television too much eating anything too much is bad don't think tv watching tv is bad anything too much is bad anything too much is very bad you underestimate people you know 
they are so smart. He said, what is not yours? If you take it, is it not a theft? I said, of course it is theft. And this is not mine and if you take it, it is theft. He says, look at this beautiful area, Kalahandi or the Orissa. If anyone is from Orissa, they understand it's a beautiful place. Nature is very kind there. You have a, so many river lights, beautiful forest, thick forest. He says, rain comes on its own, doesn't ask your permission. River flows on its own, doesn't ask my permission. This land is created by God. The trees come on their own. You people from the city come here, cut the trees. Trade this land for this piece of paper and give to somebody. When this land doesn't belong to you, how can you trade this land? It's not yours. Are you not a thief? With a professor at Caltech and an astrophysicist. So I asked him once, you know, he, he did 50 papers on nature, nature or something. So I was very proud. I asked him, is it not great? He said, look, look at this. Look at the universe. There are many Milky Ways. There are many suns. And one of the sun, there are many planets. In one of the planets, there's Earth. In, in this Earth, there are many countries. In that country, there is a country known as India. In that country, there are many states. In that, Karnataka is one state. In Karnataka, there are many places. And Hubli, is, I belong to a place known as Hubli. Hubli is one town. In Hubli, there are many houses. I am, we are one of them. What's great about us? You tell me. <laughs> What's great about you? If I'm very beautiful, please remember that Aishwarya Rai. <laughs> there, is always, there are always people above you and below you. You are normal. Why I think I am the superman? There is nobody superman. There is not a superwoman. There is nobody. If I am writing well, there is always people who are better than me. So you should never think that way. You are ultimate in life. There is nobody the ultimate in life. Life itself is ultimate. You know, I, I, I always treated my husband the way, probably different than most women. Uh, because I, I tell Murthy, suppose he is doing something, which according to me is not correct. Suppose he is making a decision, which is according to me is not correct. So I tell him, Murthy, as a friend, it is my duty to advise when it is not correct. I am advising you not to do. As a wife, I will tell you this is not correct. Because it is the duty of a wife to tell. However, the final decision is with you. I, I always uh, felt, you know, that everybody has their own, however close you are, still there is something which you want to do only yourself. Not that every time your husband or wife should be next to you. No. Then don't give too much opinion. I realized a person like Murthy, who eats, breathes, drinks in forces, cannot spare any time for us, for the family. It is like a tapas. In the olden days, Rishi used to go sit in a forest and do tapas. Today, you can sit in electronic city and do tapas. Okay. The result of that tapas is infosis. A son of a school teacher, can build an empire like Infosys in one's lifetime of third in 30 years. It's not a joke. That means the person should be dedicated his entire life for that, dreaming about it, talking about it. Then what is his wife's duty? Expecting him, you have to take me out for a movie, you take me out for a sari birthday, you take me out for this. None of them are possible in his life. So accept a person as he is. That is what I tell women, accept your husband, what he is. Flower is beautiful, but it's in own way. You cannot say rose is better, hibiscus is not. No, hibiscus has its own property, its own color, its own volume, and uh, it, it, it looks different. Every child is a flower by himself or it, herself. Do not compare. And you know, when uh, my children used to appear for the exam, they get months, I will just see, keep quiet. I have seen many parents, because I came from a teacher's family, I understood what it is. But I have seen parents, they will retotal it. Okay? They retotal, not the child. The child is very happy to play outside. Please remember, role models are not Sudha Murthy. Role models to your children are parents. How your mother talks, how what lies she tells, not the father is later, first is mother. That's what we call a mother tongue. And mother, every mother thinks the child is an extension of her body. I feel that education should be respected. The treasure was always books. I don't remember any time my mother buying any gift to us other than books. Of course, some dresses and all will buy Diwali, but birthday is always a book. Loving books 
and books are like our siblings and having our own library became part of our life yeah. that led to us probably the seeking knowledge or love for knowledge and love for knowledge became a passion and her passion probably excelled us the real bhushana for a woman is not her dress not her flower not her jewelry it is the confidence difficulties have come in life i have lost many opportunities i have been uh, i failed in many fields but confidence is something which i don't want to lose and i want to tell all viewers don't lose your confidence it will not come with your makeup it will not come with your beauty it will come within you and you have to develop that with beauty it looks nice with education it looks nice but basic thing is your confidence your confidence on your face in your heart that makes you very beautiful and you can lead a good life in that in life you cannot change people you cannot change other attitude if you want to be happy you have to change your attitude then only you can be happy you can always complain about india is illiterate poor people below the poverty line etc you can talk you can also talk good things about gratitude affection sharing talking you can talk whichever you want and i talk the best things which i have known she told me who taught this lesson don't believe all these people who teach you the person who taught this lesson i want to meet that person she told me my friend i said i wish i could have taken you to that person who taught this lesson unfortunately he is not alive he was born in india 2500 years back born the prince became a monk and when he was born we called him siddhartha when he became a monk we called him gautama buddha